you're seeing that it's reacting to my voice. If I stop talking, nothing. If I clap my hands, Welcome back to Big Man's World of Wonders. All right, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at this Govi RGB ICW floor lamp. I'm excited about this. This is a stick floor lamp. It looks just like a stick and it gives you 14 different zones that you can control yourself. You can make pre configured lighting patterns. Let's jump on in. We love Govi. We actually have other Govi things that we use lights, backlights, and things, and we're a fan. So let's get a little knife out and let's open this box up, see what we got. It looks like they actually give us a little lip, so I didn't actually have to use my knife, but of course I love to use my knife. So there we go. It's not that great when we first open it because we have some stuff. I don't even know what this stuff is, but here it is. Here goes some sort of light. Fortunately, there's some instructions. I'm going to take a look at them. Quick start guide. We got a user manual. Let's just go ahead and take the pieces out. These are kind of like half, half round. So I guess I'm suspecting that this here that they've got in the bag is looking like it's probably the LED strip itself. I'm thinking we're going to, they're going to have us probably put this on into these channels, assemble it as a lamp. And that's probably going to be it if I was guessing, which I'm totally guessing. Here's a lamp base with a controller. Looks like this is meant to be a floor controller so you can turn it on with your toe. See, look at how big it is. It's like just about toe size, huh? My toe might be bigger. I'm a big man, but it's toe size. Anyway, here we go. We're going to put this stuff all back together. Take this box. And as usual, I always kind of leave you guys this stuff to gaze on. Please, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to our channel, follow us, like us, come back. We're going to open lots of products. We're going to teach you how to do different stuff. We're going to hopefully improve your life, give you a little entertainment like that. So click to subscribe. All right. So I don't know what this is. Maybe some miscellaneous parts or something. We've got a little screwdriver. Should have had my knife out, right? Okay. We got some little rails. We've got this pack of screws that they've given us. I'm going to just go ahead and dump them out for you. And what else we have? This looks like a power adapter. You know, I could open these things with my knife, but I get some kind of weird satisfaction by just ripping this stuff apart. Anyway, I don't like to make a mess though. So looks like I kind of dropped my user manual, but I don't think we really need it. I'm going to go ahead and just reference this. I'm not going to read every little thing, but it's now told us what we have, what we got, what we're going to need. So step one says to basically screw one of these things. Now, one of them definitely, if you'll see, it has a little round end. I'm assuming this is meant to be the top one, so I'm not going to use that one. What does it say? It actually says one pull A and three pull Bs. So this one is supposed to be, obviously, I would say a B. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this on. It just slide that on, being careful not to pinch this little wire because that's where we're going to connect everything. So we're going to do that. We'll go ahead and use their screwdriver. It says to use two of them. So as always, we'll have links for you below to purchase this kind of stuff. So I think what it actually is is that we're going to put these two screws from the inside, which is just kind of holding in place. There we go. I got one. So we're going to firmly press down so we make sure it's nice and tight. We're going to tighten that one up in. So I'm going to give it a nice firm turn. You can see I'm supporting it in the back. I'm pushing, I'm using my left just so you can see, and I'm making sure that I'm pushing at the back of the screwdriver so that I'm getting some force into the screw, and I'm putting pressure in as I turn firmly to the right. Support it from the back as you're pushing in. So now they're basically saying, look, now you're going to use one of these guys, these guys, because it has four holes, and we're basically repeating the same thing. They've got little screw hole slots. Here we go. So you have screw hole slots and you get the idea, right? We're going to spring this down same way. We're going to put our screw in here and we're going to screw it in one to there, one to there. The first two. Here we go. Let's get this guy into place. Let's take our screw and we're going to go ahead. Oh, look, they're so nice. They gave us a magnetic screwdriver. That's great. I give them a thumbs up for giving me a magnetic screwdriver. That's brilliant. So there I can see both holes now. So I know I'm not in the right in the wrong place. 
I'm going to go ahead with my super duper magnetic screws. Sometimes I'll just put it in there lightly, get the screws on in. There's the second screw. And then the second one, I'll go ahead and tighten it down. Okay, let's get this thing underway. This is really, honestly, shouldn't be taking so long. And all it takes is paying a little bit of attention to what we're doing here. And as you're tightening down the screws, you're then making sure that the seam has lined up properly. Okay, so this thing, it has hands-free voice control, pre-made color schemes. It has a whole bunch of different things. So here I go, I'm building, building, building. One thing that you can also do, since you know these two are gonna go together and you know they're gonna go on there, it gets at a certain point easier that I can just work here on my workbench. I don't have to work way up there and I don't have to struggle maybe quite as much because I can do it this way. And then I'll make sure this time I have both my holes lined up so I don't have to redo it one more time. And I can go ahead on my bench and screw this one into here like so. I'm going to go ahead like I was showing you. I'm going to put pull A, which has the little rounded end on it. I'm going to put it on here too. Boom, boom, boom. And one more. Now I can take the piece I just assembled and I'm going to go ahead and try to get this in here like that. Lay it down on the bench. Try not to crush my LED light strip. Put these ones on in. And there it is. So there we got it, folks. So now we've done all these steps. Now it's saying connect the little clip at the bottom. So what they're talking about is, let's get this into place so you can see too. They're talking about this clip right here. See it right there? Right. And then here's one too. I don't know if you can see, but it's not quite a square. And so what that means is you can't really put this thing in wrong. So I'm working on our new studio. I don't know if you noticed our new studio. That's why we have the light and we have a standing table, which maybe for some of these things, I should really be sitting down, but we're learning. We're learning. So subscribe, give us pointers, tell us what you think, tell us how we can do better, right? So I'm going to gently squeeze this together. You want to be careful because there's pins in here and you don't want to damage them. So make sure you're not forcing it. Make sure when you get it in there that you gently push it in so that the plastic is firmly locked in because you don't want this coming apart. So we're good. Okay, so let's lay this thing down. So the real instructions go like this. Once you have this pushed down into the channel, what you're going to do is you're going to take the bottom and you're going to gently push it into the track. Now what you need to do from there is you need to take this and gently Come back over here to the top where the top is and you want to push this into the top. Now we're going to put this top part. We're going to do just like we did the bottom and we're going to push it all the way up. And now we're going to gently start pushing this thing in from both ends, and then we're going to push this in to the center first. So we've done the center. I've worked my way back to the base and I'm going to push it in and then I'm going to work my way here so that it kind of evenly spreads out through the channel. That seems to work pretty well. So I go to the middle, I go a quarter, and then I kind of go at all these little bumps in between. And what it's done is it's gently pushed it in, spread it out so that it's exactly the right length. And you'll see, I'm just going to go down the length of it, gently pushing it in to make sure it's seated properly in the channel. There it is. It looks pretty good. We're going to go ahead and plug this baby in. Here's my power pack. Oh, -ho, look at that. I don't know if you can even see that with all these lights we got here, but this thing just lit up. It's all flashing now. So now what you really need to do, here's my phone. This works. This is the Govi app. We went to add a new device and it asks us which one we want. I believe this is going to be an indoor lighting. So we need to see what is the actual model number of this one. Here we go. It's there. H6076112. So there we go. We're going to add that one. And there, Bluetooth nearby. It already found it. It's going to pair it. It says, please press short press on the on off button. Here's the on off button. We're going to do a short press. And there it is. Done. We're going to rename this Studio Corner. And done. Connecting to Wi Fi and. And with Wi-Fi, you can control this from everywhere. It'll interface with Alexa and all the other smart devices so it can do everything. So there it is, Studio Corner. You see it? It came up. It says there's a version update. Let's go ahead and upgrade it now, as I've always told you all. 
good to upgrade because you don't know how long this was in the box. It's going to go ahead and do this update. And this is a perfect time while we're waiting on this for you know what? Subscribe to our channel. Click the button below. We got this on there. There'll be a link so you can buy it. It's cool. It was about a hundred bucks. So here we go. Here's the controls. We have a different modes we can use. Hopefully you can see this different modes we can have it blink to the music we can have it do color where we just set the color if we go like this i don't know how well you're going to see the color but i'm able in the sec segmented light it says gradient you can turn that on and off and you can go to each part and determine how bright you want each segment one two three four five six seven different segments i can select how much brightness i want for each one now how do i do it so here's relative brightness which means all of them but if i wanted the top to go down please select the light segment so i can select this segment and i can choose that it's going to be red and i don't know if you can see but that just turned red and it could be this blue color you see it changing now right so i've picked the top segment i've made it blue let's say i want to go blue and gold because my favorite team is the la chargers i'm not saying it is but i'm just saying maybe it is so i can go ahead and now I can click this segment, I can turn off this segment, and I can say, I'm going yellow there. So now I have this blue, and it looks like I have a white and a yellow, but maybe that's because I have gradient on. Let's see what happens if I turn, there you go, I turn gradient off, and now I get a hard edge. I get just blue to yellow. If I turn gradient on, it kind of starts to try to blend them in between the two colors. I'm going to go so I have strong color. Now, if I wanted this blue to be longer, I could always assign two of these to blue. But if I want to do blue, yellow, blue, yellow, I can go blue, yellow. Now, I could also come here and select this one and this one. And that way, I can do the color with one click of a button. I've now assigned both of those. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn these guys off. So I have the three and bam, there you go. Blue, yellow, blue, yellow. We're going to do this one and this one. We're going to make it green and we're going to take this one. I'm going to take this one. We're going to make it red and I messed it up again. I keep forgetting to uncheck these. That's my biggest problem. They have select all and probably deselect all. So what I really meant to do was to leave these ones alone, make these ones a green. And that's what I really wanted to do. I wanted to give you the African colors, Ethiopian flag, reggae Rasta colors. There it is. So it's pretty cool. Uh, here's for whites. If I wanted a white light, if I wanted a warm white light, I can come over here. You see it's more of a yellowish warm. Here's a color wheel. I can just choose whatever color I want. Look, if I swipe right, I have all this. So it has the moods here. So it says, I want a sad color. So I click there and they're saying that's a sad color. There's so many different things you can do with this. You can put it on music. So you'll see as I talk, you're seeing that it's reacting to my voice. If I stop talking, nothing. If I clap my hands, Look at that. That's really cool. Here's ones where you have scenes. And what a scene does is they've got these pre-canned ones, live, funny, natural. So I could say, I want the piano one. And now it's going to do something that it's kind of simulating what they're saying is a piano. Or you can say, I want fireworks. And this is their fireworks. See, it shoots up and then it explodes. All right. So as you can see, we got it over there in the corner. It looks pretty pretty darn cool. Right now it's it's set on I guess maybe a scene or something. So let's see what we can do. Here let's go if we say natural, let's do fire and let's see what that does for us. Ooh, you see it? You see it's kind of flickering over there in the corner. We have these different scenes and let's try ripple. So it's a more of a blues and purples, kind of like a ripple of the ocean or something along those lines. Here's Glacier, will probably be a blue something too, kind of slow moving Glacier, makes sense, right? Uh, you can adjust the speed if I want this to move along faster, I can just go over here. So there's the cheerful scene and the speed right now is on high. Oh, so I think what it is, is you only have these positions. So I have high, that's like medium high medium low and then i have low so if i just want it to go nice and slow and do its little thing i don't know we'll have to go through this and see Ooh, romantic i don't know if our studio is the right place for a romantic pattern but it's pretty cool i'm really kind of digging this whole thing 
and uh, we'll get it all tuned in. So I would say thumbs up, you know, definitely thumbs up. The app is cool. It's got uh, this do it yourself mode so you can create your custom scenes, whether they're different segments or different whatever. It'll respond to the music. It'll do it on a timer. There's so many things that you can go in here. Here's effects lab and you can say, okay, here's all the colors I want to use and here's what I want to it's really, really configurable on the phone. It's really, it's really cool. I mean, it's honestly more than I'm probably ever going to do. Your journey begins now, right? It begins right now. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm really kind of thrilled with it for my hundred dollars. The fact that I can come in here and I can change and I can have some mood lighting. I can adjust everything. I can choose my color. I can do the whole thing here. Select all. If I just want the whole thing to be red, there it is. It's that simple. Now it's red. Now it's green. If I wanted to change part of the center as we so you have deselect all, I could just say, okay, give me these three here. And then I'm going to say, okay, make these yellow. And just like that, the center is yellow. It's hard to see because yellow and green are so similar. But let's say I did, um, let's say I did blue. You see how the center just turned blue, but the ends are still green. Really cool. I'm I'm pretty thrilled with it. I'm going to get more familiar with the app, Gradient. I think we wanted to turn that off. It gives us a little harder edge. And uh, I think we're happy with it so far. So yeah, overall, we I think the app is cool. I think the device is cool. I think the end result of the light over there is super cool. I want to play around with it and kind of tune it in for what I want to do. But so far, I'm giving it two thumbs up. I really like it. I really like Govi products. I recommend most of their products i don't really think i've ever been disappointed i have their string light and i have their led tv backlights and i have this now and um i have a thermometer and all kind of things so if i didn't say it before which i know i did but i'm gonna say it again please subscribe to our channel like us follow us come back govi rgb icw go get one now tune in next week there's a special episode coming your way